Welcome back to The Bottom Line with Jacqueline Sheldon. It's Tax Tip Tuesday. Hello, Jacqueline. Hi, Tom. I've heard that the IRS has changed 1099 reporting rules. What's the update? Well, Tom, there have been some changes for businesses that need to file 1099 miscellaneous forms for their subcontractors if they file more than 10 informational returns. Now, informational returns include your 1099s, but it also includes your W-2. So you, if you've got a total of 10 between W-2s and 1099s, you will be required to file those electronically for the 2023 1099 reporting. If you don't e-file those returns, then you could be assessed a penalty for not doing so. There are several software programs out there that small businesses can use to file those 1099s electronically, so you may want to check into that. Also, since we're talking 1099s, let's talk about 1099K requirements a little bit as well, because there's been a lot of information on that in the press here over the last couple months. The IRS was scheduled to change the threshold for filing of 1099-Ks to $600. Now, a 1099-K, this is relevant to individuals or businesses who use third-party payment apps. It includes side hustlers, small businesses, and individuals who sell items online. Currently, for a 1099-K to be issued, the taxpayer has to have at least $20,000 in sales or 200 transactions, and that remained in place for 2023. For 2024, that threshold is going to drop down to $5,000. The $600 limit will then be phased in after that. The IRS is also issuing guidelines for individuals who sell things personally online and how those have to be reported on your tax return. So there's still a lot of information that's coming out from the IRS on this. If you get a 1099-K, you will want to address that on your tax return.